All right, let's watch this in full. <laughs> cool, I see there's a change. Okay. And I like it. So there are a couple elements or moments animation-wise. I think they need some tweaking. And then I have a bigger note about this. That could be kind of fun, but it's a lot more work for you. <laughs> so I'm just not going to say that you have to do it. But anyway, let's go one by one here. So and I'm going to turn off this sound just for this. This is all cool. I think your first flap could be a bit more extreme in terms of speed. Uh, also, a couple of things. Careful, just as we're headed to uh, that downwards flap, that um, wing line is right where that line is of that hill, the kind of close encounters of the third guy hill uh, button there. So it's a bit of a tangent. I would need to kind of overlap that more. I would just adjust the placement of, of um, this section here. But I will go maybe potentially a bit higher. We're fairly high, but I will go a bit higher. And then... <sighs> On this, lower. Keep the timing, and because you're going higher and lower, it will be faster automatically because the timing uh, is the same because the distance can be different. You also have a little bit of almost a bit of a lock in terms of what this wing is doing here. So that will be for that, just a bigger flap to really give us the you know the right impression that it can go up so high. Yes, technically it could be gliding, but you're already starting on a lower path. So to me, it feels like we need greater strength in the wings to go up here. Then once you're here, there's a bit of a, wow, sudden acceleration through there. It feels like in your graph editor, your, your TY, your translate has like this sudden drop as opposed to where it has a natural fall off and hang time and then acceleration. So this comes out of nowhere. This feels more like someone's got a couple chains here and is pulling that dragon down so give this enough times to really feel like it's a natural kind of more physics driven drop because it's nothing really super cartoony so i wouldn't really cheat too much here with a like a pull down landing this is a bit harsh on the stop here on the head watch this and the head goes up bit sudden and also a bit messy in terms of your arcs if you have a very straight drop here that's almost to go uh, onion skin here almost too straight here without an arc so don't forget your arc in that drop and because you have that it will kind of do this a little bit and in your case it's very straight and then you have this and then straight up here you can see this over and then suddenly goes up and then up uh, that and then and it's only stop so all my sounds here, these are technical things. Ooh, eh, ooh, eh. <laughs> but it's a bit messy in terms of the arcs and the spacing. Same thing with this. It gets a bit, shoo, bit fast. It's a bit straight like that. And also a bit fast. We're losing the weight because we do have this as a scale comparison or reference. We know as a human how tall this is. So this is pretty big. But then you have something shoo, where there's this sudden acceleration. This is a lot of, there's a lot of weight in these. So you have to be careful in terms of how quickly you get into a move and how quickly you stop and change direction. Those are all indicators of weight. So it's a bit much. Same thing here. It's a bit fast through there. This cracked me up. I love this. And watch out. Right there. Just a little bit of a fast section right through that rotation. Through there to that joint. And then... That, you're hitting almost a wall here. Boom. So again, overshoot a bit more. Give us enough time to go up and down to really get the weight. I love all this here. That's cool. I like the cut. That's also weird. Right through there. It's It feels like we want to jump out this way-ish. But then there's this sudden path this way before it goes up so i'll get rid of that translate this way and really concentrate on a clean path out and then there's a little bit of an acceleration through there right through there that i'm not quite buying in terms of speed because again it comes out of nowhere there's no flap 
there's nothing there that would give us an indication of wait that makes sense physics wise and everything else also <clears throat> what i would do is take those hills and a couple of trees and when you go over there tree tops maybe a little mountain top here and maybe you got some white little clouds just give us an indication of what is the camera doing because once we're losing the environment we don't know what the camera's doing this could be anything i see a little bit because of the banding here the compression but it would be good to see because then we don't know is that sudden move because of the camera is it because of the dragon is it both so also little set pieces there would be good that these are to me the main issues in terms of quote-unquote issues with the animation and maybe this is a bit wide Almost gets frog like. Turn that on, it's getting off. Potentially make this less wide. Because now it looks like you have multiple legs with that with that tail in the back as well. Speaking of tail, let me look at the tail. That's also a bit fast. How quickly you go up and then quickly you stop. All that just kind of kills the weight. But the bigger note that I have, that is a, an optional note. What I love is this. Now, this looks to me more like snowballs, ginormous snowballs versus uh, maybe rocks. Like, what is this? They could be a bit more angular and broken up. Get some shadowing in there. And then when you have this, could break a little bit and then some pieces come off. But what would be really cool, and again, this is the note that you don't have to do, but imagine... And I don't even know how you would do it. You would have to have some frame by frame stuff with little elements. It doesn't have to be all simulated and stuff. But imagine this is a like an oil dripping rock with fire. Fire. Imagine. This would be so cool. Imagine we got a flaming rock piece. And then bah, when he gets hit, you got the all that stuff coming off it would be so cool with pieces of the rock coming off with a trail hold on hold on with a with a trail you got the, the you know the, the remnants of the explosion there and then you got a bit of Stuff like that. And you're going, what is he doing? Some smoke. <laughs> I just think that would be really cool if this was a flaming Dorito. <laughs> Comes off. Ah, then you got that big amber stuff flying around. Smoke trail, fire trail. And all of these. And then imagine when you have this, you put in a little spotlight. Or a little ambient light, or you know, from here, but then you have an area light here, so that that fire illuminates the tree, gets closer. <sighs> like that's cool, right? I love all this, and it's already yellow in there. This is why I was thinking about what if well, I don't know what that is, but it's yellow. Let's make this fire. <sighs> and then you have fire starting here. It could be fire on the tree. Is that me? What is this? That's another piece there. So you got, <sighs> and they could put in the light, and imagine you got a nice rim light of the fire through there there's the edges some fire here and then please don't do this but it would be awesome if you had a bunch of humans here all with staffs swords the group of people ah, a couple of pitchforks ah, chasing the dragon <laughs> don't do that that's ridiculous but i do like this and just going further with that and i don't see anything in your email so you might already have that in, in your hand and you want to do this, but this could be really, really cool. And that's it. I'm going to leave it at that before I'm going to go crazy and drive you even crazier. And that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.